Hi, I'm John Kipps, um, and I've just uh, I invited Phyllis and Fiona to show at this exhibition at TAP and um, COTIS. They're, um, I know you shouldn't probably show your favourite artists, that shouldn't be the main reason, but that kind of is why I asked these two to show. I've always been a fan of Phyllis's work since I was at art school, and uh, Fiona is a good friend of mine, and her paintings and sculptures are amazing. And there's a real sort of contrast between the two practices, but um, they're also they are also very linked in some ways, and it's to do with um, although Philida particularly is sort of a hardcore sculptor, most would say I kind of see her practices being very sort of painterly, and I guess that was sort of the starting point for asking them to show together. It's that kind of um, real sort of slap on material kind of. Um, aesthetic I guess that is evident in both of the practices um, and although uh, and I think having them both in the same place there's a real kind of um, it's like an opposition but also kind of a new relationship that's um, it's just nice to kind of wander around and see how these things relate to each other and how the work relates to each other and also um, particularly as a lot of it's made uh, for the space sort of seeing how it relates to the actual building that it's housed in. So, hope you enjoy it. Um, I came to the space about six months ago and very much wanted to use the length of it um, and try and break the space up with a very bold intervention and so that was how the wall emerged. And um, I also wanted to maybe to make a space that couldn't be accessed but was still part of the space and to knowing that I was showing work with Fiona to see her work as more as a kind of interior activity and my work as bringing something exterior inside. So this is like an outside object that's been brought inside. These are vertical to use a very opposite kind of um, spatial dynamic for this room uh, to reach the ceiling and make something that is almost integrated into the space as so though it's part of it in some way. Yes, it, it looks like it should be here. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. It looks the same to, in a way, I'm very interested in sculpture which sort of disappears <laughs> and so this is a work that's buried into the fabric of the building. The building is sort of very exposed, very raw and um, I just wanted to emphasise that quality of the What she's made is really interesting because it's, it takes up like, physically very little space in the room. Um, and they're quite sort of su subtle gestures in a sense, but when you realise they're there, they have this huge presence. And um, especially when you realise that, like, they feel like they could sort of slip out, or it, there's kind of this tension between like um, an unstableness and also the fact that they're both pushing it straight up to the winch that's above your head. And it's kind of it just makes kind of a really interesting relationship with the building. showing it coexist and this is one of my sculptures, there's five of my sculptures uh, alongside Phila de Barlow's work here um, and they're part of a new series uh, which are basically uh, sculptural works based on famous paintings um, and this piece is based on a painting by Veronese called The Rape of Europa um, and they're made from 
they start with kind of clay over an armature, and then the, the colouring is applied with um, pigmented silicone, which gives it this really kind of gloopy texture and high shine. Um, and the point is not to obviously directly or reinterpret that directly, the, the painting, but to allow it to sort of translate itself through the process and the method of, of making and the interaction with that sort of quiet thinking process that happens in the studio. <laughs> Painting. It's actually in the National Gallery um, by Tintoretto, and the painting is called The Origin of the Milky Way. Um, and it, so, so, what I was really attracted to, because I don't work directly from the paintings and I don't work directly from reproductions of the paintings, it's very important that the process of memory and sort of misrepresentation is allowed to sort of take place between the act of seeing the painting and then doing sort of sketches and then working from the sketches and not looking back at the original. Um, but I suppose one of the things that I found really exciting about this piece was its kind of gravity-defying composition. So you've got God sort of flying in um, to create the Milky Way, represented as a, as a female figure, as often was.